When you talk about provisioning, there's a number of different types. First, there's server provisioning, which is the process of setting up a server to be used in a network based on required resources. Then there's also user provisioning, which is a type of identity management that monitors access rights and authorization privileges. Then there's network provisioning. Now this can include setting up a network to be used or accessed by users, servers, containers, and IoT devices, among other things. And finally, there's service provisioning, which includes the setup of a service and managing the data related to that service. However, up until recently, you had to do all of these manually, but with automation, you don't. Now this helps you avoid types of errors and inconsistencies seen with manual provisioning. And by automating this from the get-go, you've taken a much larger step toward automating across the entire life cycle of your applications.